This is my 21st installment of this White House basement poem, Amazing. dating back to 1998, which also happens to be an impeachment year. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was trying to remember back to uh, what it was like. Twas the night before Christmas and in the White House, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes Senate acquittal soon would be there. Mm -hmm. POTUS was sleeping all snug in his bed, while visions of USMCA danced in his head. He dreamed of the economy and market acceleration, and of the Mueller report, complete exoneration. <laughs> Trump and the Dems had bickered clear across town, putting the government in a partial shutdown. They differed on the border, he and Democrats, about a national emergency and see-through steel slats. Trump tussled with critics, tweeting out his attacks while feeding college athletes fries and Big Macs. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah Sanders parted ways with her commander-in-chief. In came Stephanie Grisham, who also doesn't brief. <laughs> Trump squared off with the squad, AOC plus three, telling them to go back to their native country. Wanting to nuke hurricanes caused a big flap, as did Alabama on a Sharpie altered map. <laughs> A bid to buy Greenland brought a presidential snub, then a G7 reversal on Trump's Miami club. Taliban talks were canceled. There was a trip to the DMZ. A troop withdrawal in Syria forced the Kurds to flee. But victory had come against the Islamic State. Al-Baghdadi was dead. No more caliphate. All of a sudden, there arose such a clatter, POTUS jumped up to see what was the matter. When, who should appear on the South Lawn below, but the whistleblower himself, standing there in the snow. <laughs> he was dressed in camouflage from his head to his toe, hiding his identity so the public wouldn't know. A complaint about the Zelensky call, something wasn't right, prompted Speaker Pelosi to give impeachment a green light. Trump released a transcript, hoping to land a blow. Instead, everyone focused on do us a favor, though. <laughs> the Bidens and Burisma, a White House fixation. Ukraine needed to announce a public investigation. Get over it, Chief of Staff Mulvaney would explain when asked about withholding assistance to Ukraine. Giuliani was seen as a potent hand grenade. Bolton wanted out of the drug deal being made. <laughs> POTUS blasted Shifty Schiff. He was a corrupt politician and objected to the probe's closed-door depositions. The call was perfect. The complaint was a sham. Impeachment proceedings are a hoax and a scam. And I heard Trump exclaim, in Latin, don't you know, Merry Christmas to all. There was no quid pro quo. <laughs> well done, Greg. Yeah. We are not worthy.